Hi guys, today we are going to solve one of the SQL question asked by subscriber. So let's go ahead and check the question. So the question is to print a pattern, the below pattern in using SQL. First, they are asking to print one, start with the number one, then iterate and increment it by one, then, you know, once, then thrice, then four times, then five times. Once it becomes, once it replicates five times, then increment the number and print five times, then four, then three, two, and one. So this is a question and uh, we'll see how we can solve this using SQL. Then let's flip back to SMS and solve this. So to save some time, I have written the solution. First of all, we'll just uh, discuss how we can solve this. Uh, question first thing we need to have a number variable where it should hold one in the first place and it should replicate all the way up to five times then the number should be reset to from one to two that is once it is two then we have to replicate it five times then four times three two and one so this is pretty straightforward but let's see how we can solve this First thing I have taken a counter variable just to handle how many iterations we have to take. So for printing one, we have to iterate five times. Also for printing two, we have to iterate five times. So for iteration, I have taken this counter variable and initialized with one. That's first part. And the second part is to handle the number. So first we have to print one and then two, right? So that we can achieve using the next variable that is at number right and to look through the iterations this incrementing and decrementing i'm using a while loop pretty straightforward that's it we have almost achieved half of the solution let's quickly check the next steps so the first thing we are initializing both counter and number so here the number is one and the counter started with one so that we just need to print once so i'm using replicate function in sql server just to replicate so if we we are saying here just replicate it the number just once in the second iteration it replicates the number one twice then thrice then five times four times and then five times right so in each iteration i'm incrementing the counter by one so in the first iteration the value will be one and then in incremented by one so like that it once we print this one five times the counter will be five here then the counter becomes five plus one which is six once it becomes six we are checking if the number is one yes so once it printed five times the number will be one and also the counter becomes five plus one six so we are checking so once this condition is achieved so this achieved this will be achieved only once in the whole process then once this condition is achieved it's time to change our number variable from one to two so this block just executes just once and once this is achieved that we are incrementing the number by one so because it has to change from one to two so we update the number so set number equal to number plus one so that number change happened using this condition and then we are replicating the number five times so since the counter is six here we are just decrementing it by one so counter minus one six minus one which is five so we are actually printing these five twos using this particular block of code right so the knock now i'm resetting the counter from six minus two which is four so from here we print the rest of this stuff using the else clause right so the now counter is four so four is less than five so condition is true it goes into this it checks whether the number is one no the current number value is two so it goes to the else block and replicates the number which is two four times then two three times two times then once once it is 
the counter value is 1. So once this 2 is printed, the value will be 1. And we reset the counter from 1 minus 1, which is 0. Once it is 0, just I'm giving a break statement. So it will exit the loop. If you miss this particular condition, it will go to infinite loop. So it's important to give this condition. So this is one way. So let me execute this quickly and show the output. So here is the output. So it is one printed five times and then two is printed. So we achieved the pattern here, which is asked. So the other way is right. You know, if you want to have the spaces between these, we can use this using, you know, we can cast it and then we can use space command, you know, to see how many spaces are needed. Let me execute this and show it to you once. Here I'm just using, uh, I'm casting the number and then giving the spaces. And I'm just printing a blank um, line. So this is how the output looks like. So we achieved it with spaces. The next one is, uh, there is one more solution for this, just it's kind of a, instead of complicating things, I can use two loops. I know this is just a way, but if you have any better solutions, just do post it in the comments. I'll, I do check those comments for sure. So the next one is just uh, what I'm doing here, pretty much same as the previous one. But here, once I print the, these five ones, I'm coming out of the loop so the first loop prints the first ones and then I reset the number and I reset the counter and then print the rest of the stuff here so let me cop let me select this and execute so we achieve the same using this one I will copy these SQL statements to my blog as well as the description of this video so if you need, you can copy it and run it in your system just to see how the output looks like. And thanks for tuning to this video. Uh, if you have learned something new today, do like, share and comment on my video. Thank you. Uh, you take care. Have a nice day.